<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Last day, Saturday, not the last, but it's the Saturday right. day. Almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> Hello. NAM Show 2018. Good morning, guys. Chris here. So, Alex. Yes. Thank you for Pleasure. having us. Absolutely, not a problem. Thanks for coming. We're you excited. have so many cool stuff here oh, yeah. on your booth. So uh, let's get going. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're gonna go ahead and take you through the Friedman guitar line. Um, it's been around for about a couple of years now, um, but we're really focusing on the story between Dave and Grover Jackson, who's building the guitars, and just kind of the overall, um, you know classification, I guess you could say, with our guitars. We're yeah. really going after a more vintage modern type of peel, right? So I, it's kind of indicative in some of the models. So we'll go ahead and show you some of the stuff that we've been working on. Uh, have a few new colors to, to show you. This is a uh, what we call our charcoal metallic finish. And it's actually on a vintage T model. This is our vintage T line. And we've been focusing also on uh, heavier aging as well. So there's lots of different options in terms of, you know, types of body woods and the finishes you can get. But, you know, with these guitars, Grover really kind of outdoes himself on each one. You know, every time we get a new one in, it's it's just incredible, you know, the amount of detail that goes into the actual finished product. Uh, who, do, who does the uh, relicking stuff, also Grover? Well, Grover does some of it, and then he also has a guy at his shop who uh, used to work at another familiar company that does, you know, aging and relicking processes. I get it. Okay. Right, and so uh, <laughs> so he comes in and, uh, you know, puts his personal spin on it, and, and that's the end result is what you see here, so. Uh, nice touch. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, another model is, you know, we, we've been experimenting with um, some different pickup combinations, right? And so we kind of wanted to go again with a more modern vintage type feel. So this one has a P90 pickup in it. And then, of course, all these pickups are actually Friedman Classic Series pickups, um, which we're going to be releasing very soon as well. So you can buy aftermarket. And if you have a favorite guitar at home, you want to get the Friedman sound, put the pickup in it, and, and you're all set. So for sure. Um, we'll move along, and this is some of the uh, our newer uh, guitars that we're really proud of, uh, uh, again, within the Vintage T-Line. I think I had baby in my hand <laughs> right. like two days ago. Right, right. This oh, is an incredible guitar. Um, we were, again, experimenting with Bodywood's pickup selection. Um, we are calling these the Friedman Dual Single uh, Coil Pickups. What they actually are, are they are humbuckers that fit in a single coil slot. Oh, no so, way. Stacked or? Absolutely, oh. yeah. It's stacked up on itself, so you get that really nice telly, you know, type chime, right? That vintage type feel, but it's got a lot of power behind it. Oh, yeah. So it's got a lot of really good presence, and uh, we've been really excited and a lot of people have been super happy and excited about it as well. And what, what it's exciting for me to know and to realize, uh, we visited you guys uh, three days ago or something. Right, right, right. And um, and you actually had all the bobbins and all the pickup parts. It, right. It's not like, it's called Friedman, but you know, someone makes it for us. It's right. like, you do it yourself. You <laughs> exactly, guys yeah, that's a really cool process uh, is, is Grover makes the pickups himself. Uh, you know, he has all the parts. He, he has a pickup winding machine in a shop. So he really puts this personal spin on just about every aspect of the guitar, including the pickups, which are very important to us, very important to Dave. Dave had a lot of input on the design. Um, and I, I think we, uh, we have a great product that's coming out. <laughs> awesome. Uh, pickup display, of course. You guys want to get a shot of that, maybe? It's really cool. We've got all the different options. Just a, a quick touch on these. Um, when you buy a Friedman pickup, if you get a P90 or a single coil, you know we do offer um, the the variations on the covers. And when you get a P90, you get both covers with the pickup. And the same thing with the single coils. Um, you get the black and the ivory option. It just comes with it. We just thought, you know what? Give people options, right? So it's a pretty cool feature on those. Um, uh, one last thing, the sure. um, I mean the bridge pickup is is obviously a, a T type sound, right, right. but the neck pickup is it also or is it more like um, well you know, the, the the neck pickup Grover is uh, I guess you know his personal flavor he's not exactly necessarily a fan of a traditional T neck pickup so it's kind of a blend between a T and more of a an S type style pickup <laughs> right uh, all those letters all those oh, letters beautiful. and designations yeah we have to be careful but um, you know the yeah the end result is magnificent and it really does outshine you know and it, and it really um, a lot of people I've had a buddy of mine that is a really good finger style player and you can really hear the the note articulation really well with this pickup so <laughs> awesome super excited all right so here's the the Cali line um, these are you know a, a really great guitar that uh, Dave Dave himself has a lot of input on these designs. He actually has designed a few for himself personally that are really cool that we're gonna 
essentially respec and reorder and have available for the masses as well. So you'll, you'll be able to order a guitar that Dave Friedman personally owns, which is kind of cool. Um, so just a few variations. Again, we're expanding the line. These have been out for a couple of years. Um, but we wanted to show people more options in, in terms of the finishes and, again, the wood selections, the neck material, all the different options. You know, we are essentially like a custom shop, yeah. right? Every guitar uh, may be CNC for quality, but they are all hand finished and they are worked on one by one, which is really cool. So uh, just to give you a shout out, here's our oh, new okay. finish. <laughs> yes, this is a Cali with the heavy age and this is called our candy green finish. And this is what we call a double burst where Grover literally finishes the guitar with an entire sunburst finish, a, th a three-tone in, in particular, and then he paints the guitar with the top coat and then completely wears through down so you can see all the wear patterns as if somebody owned it for 30, 40 years, right? And they just wore through all the spots you know, where they played and the burst comes through and these have been incredibly popular. Um, the detail is what people like to point out. You know, he really like digs in there. You could feel the, the textures. <laughs> that's not like sanding. You know? No, that's, that's no, that's, like, I mean, he's, you know, yeah. beating it up. They have various different processes, yeah. but um, I'd also like to point out that on these heavy ages, he actually goes after, you know, every aspect of the guitar. I mean, he ages the hardware. These are, this is all brand new stuff yeah. in terms of the hardware and the parts that are used. And, you know, he ages everything. Look at the headstock there, right? And you do get locking tuners on all these uh, Cali guitars, which is another great feature. So, one of our new favorite finishes there. Um, a couple more here, Dave. You know, we again the double burst is a pretty nice feature that, that a lot of people have been really cool with and and super excited about. So, there's some of the Cali's. I'm here with Grover Jackson. Grover, Hello. thank How you are very you? much for having us. Thank you oh. very much for uh, for uh, being here. Oh yeah, I mean you have started. To work with Dave a couple of years ago, right? Yes. Was five around? No, five it's about two and a half years ago. Oh, wow, only? Yes. Wow. That's, so It's been a massive success. Uh, it, 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 we're doing pretty good, <laughs> and we're pretty thrilled. Oh, Absolutely. Wow. So how it's been great to work with Dave. Dave is, uh, you know, he's got the ears of gold. So I make them, and he fine tunes, and uh, we end up with stuff that people seem to like a lot. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. Absolutely. So um, when Dave came to you, uh, was there something what he had in mind, or, or was it like really like a um, combination of ideas and brainstormings and everything? We you know? started with with the uh, vintage tea, and that was really his idea. And then with this, oh sorry, no with problem. the success of that, we've kind of spread into other things, which was maybe a little more collaborative. But the written, the initial ideas for the vintage tea were was Dave's, and and to be honest, I thought I, I don't know that is that really a model that people are excited about. <laughs> so I was. He was right, and I was wrong. I mean, uh, and he's very rarely wrong. He yeah. has great, that's what's great about working with Dave, is he's incredible uh, sensitivities to what the market wants. And I think the success of the guitars is the proof of that. And also, of course, if, uh, you know, you say Dave has a very good taste in music and hearing, yeah. it's, you know, chances are big that people will really yes. like it. Yeah. So, yeah. Especially if you build the guitars, which is, you know, <laughs> yeah, which is very nice. Um, do you you guys make your pickups as yeah, well? Yeah, we yourself. make our own pickups in house. What what was your goal? Uh, trying to um, trying to do something right in the middle or something more of a modern sounding pickup? No, vintage really. I mean, to try to do things that so I think we share the sort of idea that the old ideas were good ideas, and we really so we we just ba basically fine tuned old concepts. Uh, if you play the guitars, you'll find that they're not super high output pickups. Um, the vintage style of pickup, fine tuned through Dave's amplifiers, make a perfect combination. Yeah, because modern amplifiers have just enough gain and volume and punch, yes. so the pickups, you know, just work in harmony again. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So. Um, no, it's it's been great working with Dave. The, the pickup thing, he was very specific about wire gauges and uh, amounts of wire and DC resistance and magnets and stuff. And we'd already been making pickups for quite a while, so he just again just fine tuned everything to his ear, and his ears don't lie. <laughs> but that's good to know. Yes. W which is your your personal favorite guitar? Um, uh, but 
probably the Cali because because it sort of speaks to what I did in the '80s, and it's it's a throwback to what we we yeah. did before. Again, fine tuned. Um, that's that's probably my favorite. Right. And then you know, obviously we have the uh, the new model, which is the Metro D, um, which is our sort of take on um, the so set neck concept yeah. and. Uh, it was a lot of uh, ball scratching about getting this right, but we, yeah. we feel really good about it. And the resp response at the show here has been really good, too. So, wow. Looking forward very much playing one. What's, what's really nice, even though it's a single cut, it sort of has a T-type, yeah. uh, you know, upper part. Yeah. That's, wow, that makes it really unique and uh, yeah. very interesting. And then again, like most of the stuff we do, beat the crap, so that it's, <laughs> it's already worn in and you... The, the concept is to pick it up and feel an old friend. Yeah. You know, some, you pick it up and it's not like you have to get to know this guy. You pick him up and you go, oh, oh okay. I know this guy. Yeah. So, right. so that's... Did you have to uh, redesign the pickups for this guitar due to other woods, you know, mahogany neck and mahogany body? No, actually we're, we're using the standard classic neck and a classic plus bridge. Yeah, and the classic plus bridge is still not a high output pickup. It's, it is um, a little hotter vintage pickup. So th there's not a huge range from the classic bridge to the classic plus bridge, but it's distinguishable, you can hear it. So this is uh, the classic plus bridge. Very nice. Grover, I wish you an awesome NAMM show, and thank you very much, and congratulations on your guitars. It's, 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 I'm speechless, uh -oh. to say the least, really. Thank you so really, much. Very impressive. So these are you know, uh, new for the line. They came out, they debuted last year. We had a couple prototypes at the show. Um, and then this year, again, we went back to the drawing board, wanted to refocus on the details of the models. And we have a couple different flavors here available. This is called the Friedman Metro D. It is a set neck guitar as opposed to a bolt-on like all the other stuff that we offer. Um, and so, you know, it, it just kind of speaks for itself. We have different options like scraped binding as yeah. opposed to a traditional, you know, white Plastic, or a cream yeah. binding, right? Um, this one does have a, a flame top on it with a transparent, this is called a black burst finish. It's been really popular. Again, these are Friedman pickups. These have the nickel covers, which is also an option when you buy them separately. Um, and just, you know, cleaner finish on these. You know, Grover and Dave kind of wanted to have some stuff that, uh, you know, wasn't super beat up, <laughs> just for some variation. And I think the color choices were, were actually really cool as well. This is uh, another one that we, this color is called Reseda Green. Dave lives, uh, you know, in, in North Hollywood. So we, we tried to stick with the theme of Southern California and, yeah. and sticking with some, some influence there. And then I believe this one does have a pow ferro fretboard. So again, working woods, with woods are pr pretty much um, you know traditional, some mahogany maple. Right, right. Actually, what's really cool about it is this one does have a mahogany back, you know, flame maple top. But again, another thing that Gr Dave and Grover were working on was, well, let's make a set neck with an alder body. Oh, wow. Right. So some of these actually have alder bodies with the mahogany top. So you can change it up. You can get an alder body. You can get a mahogany. Um, nobody's ordered it yet, but we do have ash. Okay. So if somebody wanted a Metro D and ash, that is totally an option. You know, again, you play and you compare those guitars. Um, we haven't made one in ash yet, but we've compared the mahogany with the alder okay. and? and they both have really good, you know, um, tonal response. I'd have to say the alder is a very interesting combination because it's not super common. And uh, it's a little more mid-rangey, I guess, not as dark, okay. which is the best description I can give it. But really, you gotta kind of, you, you know, go it, see it to believe right. it. You gotta check it out, you know. So definitely go to your local dealer, check out the Metro yeah. D's. Um, here's some other flavors again, you know, experimenting with finishes. But these are uh, the aged, right? Heavier age. Again, this is a color called Bittersweet that uh, is a very vintage color that we went back, you know. Uh, through history to research and, and Grover found this and it was actually really cool. Um, again, you know, wearing through down to the wood, this is again considered a heavy aid. So you can see the difference in the neck, right? The, the, the feel of it, you can see the, the mahogany coming through as opposed to the super gloss, you know, that's, uh, you can't see the finish underneath, so yeah.
super cool guitar. Absolutely. Awesome. Uh, and then rolling through, yeah, here's some familiar faces to fill up the wall, but now we have our Vintage S, which is another debut here at the show. Um, again, in production for over a year, um, refining, going back to the drawing board, you know, really taking a look at the line and seeing where we can improve, where we can offer just more stuff for people, right? Yeah. People like more stuff, it's fun. Um, so here we go. Vintage S, we have some familiar finishes. This is actually our transparent red, um, which is a, a red color that started off with the the, uh, the vintage T-line. So this is one of the first models that was offered when Freedom Guitars debuted. So we thought we carried it over to the vintage S and it actually came out kind of cool because it's transparent. You can kind of see the grain underneath the finish. Right. That looks like alder, is that right? Yeah, that's an alder body, right. And then when you put a transparent finish, it really kind of, comes out it's 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 cool it's unique you know it's a little different and all of the vintage s models uh, feature in hss setup um, that's just how dave wanted it we are working on some uh, variations where you'll have three single coils you know it's a different flavor all again friedman pickups right so they sound really really consistent really good um, and just to let everybody know the standard finish is, you know, like, I guess, a light to a medium age, and then it can go either super clean, which would be an upcharge, or super heavy, uh, depending on which way you want to go. So we, we have the ability to make these guys perfectly brand new, clean looking, without the wear, um, and so it is possible. But Dave and Grover, they love to beat stuff up, and they love the old vintage, you know, inspired look, so that's the majority of what we have to offer. I mean, you, pro you actually touch guitars with a little aging differently, so you, you, you go for it. And exactly. with, with like a you know brand new guitar, you are like, uh, right. gotta be careful. You know, I don't want to. First scratch is what hurts most. So. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we we liken this to like putting on an old beat up T-shirt, right? Something that's really comfortable to wear. It's something that you always go back to. So we kind of wanted to have that feeling with the guitars and the guitar line. Something that's brand new, got a modern twist to it, but has an old familiar feel, right? So that's really where we went with the line, and, and we're super happy and proud of, of, of you know how it turned out. So, right. Is there a, a specific reason why not using three knobs, which would, would have been traditional? Right, right. Traditional again. That's our modern twist. That's another preference by Dave and Grover. Um, you know, Grover's been doing either single volumes or single volume and tone forever. And that's a thing that he just kind of brought to the table. Um, Dave. He's a tone guy, he's a tone chaser, so um, a lot of times he told me on, on some of his more traditional guitars, he's removed some pots, right? And uh, just stuck with, just he loves volume. He just yeah. loves to turn stuff on and rock. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Just give you some global um, controls, just make it a little easier for people. Oh, yeah. So that's kind of our, our spin on the whole thing. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. No problem. Alex, have an awesome show. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming you're by. You're so welcome. Cheers, guys. We'll be coming Cheers. back with other stuff. Goodbye. All right. We'll see you next year. <laughs>